Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my St. Patrick's Day Mani for 2019. I've started off with Get a Grip as my base coat and this is in the scent Butterbeer. They have all kinds of scents. And here is, I think it's Painted Polish. And this is Celtic Crelly. I am so sorry I don't know the name but it's just got PP on the front and I haven't used it in a year so I can't remember. And I'm going to cap my free edge first and go in with my first coat of Celtic Crelly. It's such a pretty polish. Mine has changed colors. It used to be a pure white Crelly and now it's kind of going a little off white. But it is two or three years old now. So I'm okay with that, you know. Um, and it's got all these beautiful little gold and green sparkles in it, little glitters. For me, it's just perfect for this time of year. I think it's just a great polish to use for St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying to make sure I get it all the way covered up. So I do think it's good in two coats. Hi Woody, how you doing? So there we go, two coats of Celtic Crelly. And now I'm gonna top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat going to get it to dry down so that we can do some more playing. I've got lots of playing going on today. We're going to be doing some stamping and some stencil work. There will be some good stuff and then there's going to be a little bit of a fail in this video, but I share it all. Today we're using the Pro Collection XL02 from MoU London. The Nicole Diary Gold Stamping Polish and this is NS03. There it is, an SO3. And my AliExpress stamper and my clear jelly scraper. I'm using this kind of like woven knot looking thing image. I love it. I think it, it just spoke to me. It said it needed to go in my St. Patrick's manicure, so we're using it. I put that image on my thumb and I'm doing my pointer and my pinky, cleaning that plate off with pure acetone. I'm going to go in and clean up some of this excess with a piece of tape. Today it's coming up quite well. My skin conditions are correct and um, the humidity in the house must be really good because it is coming up very nicely. I think that has something to do with when I have trouble with it. We're still working on it. But I do like this method. Anytime you can get that polish up with tape is good stuff. I love that. Mm -mm. So there we go. Now I'm going to break out these stencils and I'm using the shamrock. These are shamrocks. They have three leaves. Four leaf clovers or clovers. <laughs> Not shamrocks. So I'm using my little shamrock image one today and I should have cut this in half and split it between the two nails I'm wanting to do because the problems I end up having with this are because I didn't do that. I'll be using China Glaze Emerald Sparkle to fill in this stencil. And I'm just going in and kind of brushing, dabbing that into all the little nooks and crannies. Now, you guys know I don't play with these vinyls. This is um, my second time playing with these kind of full vinyls. I've never played with them before. And I will show you that. Uh, you too might could, you know, be having these same problems. So I'm showing you what I did wrong. I didn't get the end down very good. So I've got a blob on the end of my nail. I'm going to show you how I patch this, how I fix it. I'm going to go in with my non-acetone nail polish remover and my brush and just kind of do like little swipes and just kind of etch it out a little bit to make it not so blobby looking. Now I'm trying to reuse this vinyl, and I do believe you can reuse them. I'm just not having much luck with it today. It's not sticking really, really good. I'm going to fiddle with it, and I'm going to try to get it to work. But as you'll see, not such a good idea. So now that I've shown you the two ways that I know how to use these vinyls, or two ways that I do know how to use these vinyls, I will tell you that my preferred method is making decals because I don't have any trouble using one of those stencils over and over to make 
you know, like 10 decals without getting this bleeding and issues that I'm having. Plus, you can reuse one stencil and get a whole bunch of mileage out of it that way. So, that's my preferred method. That's probably how you're going to see me use these the most. Um, fixing to do the reveal. Here we go. We're almost there. So, I got that all painted in and now I'm going to pull it off and they just look like little leaves. They don't look like shamrocks. They just look like leaves. So, I'm trying to doctor it up a little bit and, you know, this is reality. This is what happens when we uh, play sometimes. We have issues and like I've always said, I always share this kind of stuff because I want you to know it's not just you. If you're having an issue like this, it's not just you. Sometimes it happens. So, if I was planning on wearing this many, I did. I have worn it for th no two days, um, maybe a third. I would probably go back, peel that polish off that middle nail, and just paint it with the Celtic Crelly, and let it just be Celtic Crelly nail. So I am topping this one off with some of the Vibrant Vinyls Fast and Hard Top Coat, being sure to cap my free edge. So. I did tell you what I would do if I was planning on wearing this manicure and I wasn't happy with that middle nail. I would have pulled it off, repainted, and just wore it like that. So I do have a swatch photo coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time.